we're youth and it's like this is how we're gonna start off life in tragedy <laughs> it didn't be that way I want to have a home like I, I'm tired of this like temporal like I don't know where I'm living I'm, I'm just going by I'm figuring it out and I, I just said I want to ground myself I, I want to make my foundations like, we shouldn't have to fight for housing for low-income people with rapid rehousing, it is setting young people up for success because the lease is in their own name, um, they get their own place, they get privacy, which is key, especially to their development right now. Youth experiencing homelessness face extraordinary challenges in the Bay Area. High cost markets, gentrification, and insufficient access to services. We're here working with our partners at Rising Up, which is a coalition of organizations that are deploying rapid rehousing and problem-solving solutions as prevention to youth homelessness. Um, so let's talk about rapid rehousing. What is that component? What is the rapid rehousing component of Rising Up? With rapid rehousing, um, it's as rapid as we can make it. Yeah. Right? It's a, it's a fast track, really, if we look at it that way, to make sure that young people are provided with housing as, as soon as possible. We at Third Street believe that um, health starts with stability. And so the sooner we can get young people stabilized, the healthier they can be. With Rising Up, young people have access to almost three years worth of um, subsidized funding. What was your first night like in your rapid rehousing apartment? Like, what was it like to put your key into your door and like go into your apartment and sleep that night? When she gave me the keys, I was like, I'm that man. Like, I know, like, I see my future now. It's so clear, like, it felt really good. It felt really good to be like, okay, yo, like, you, this is a major step so, stepping stone in your life. Yeah. I have a room where it's just me, you know? I have a room where I just, I go to be me in my room. Yeah. Then I have room where I entertain, and then I have a room where I eat. Like, it feels real good. It feels yeah. good. It feels like, okay, I'm being an adult. Like, you know, I'm having a dinner party, you guys. You guys want to come <laughs> over? Whenever you were couch surfing, did you ever consider yourself actually homeless? Yeah, I felt like I was really still, I was still homeless. But like, when I actually stepped on a park bench for the first time, like, that was like my reality. Like, damn, bro, like, this is real homelessness. Rising Up is based on this kind of methodology of housing first. What does that term, what is that saying, housing first, mean to you? To me, it means you are taking away the barriers that many of our youth and young adults come into the program with. We focus on getting that lease, getting those keys, moving into their unit. That's the main goal, is housing them. Housing is a problem in San Francisco, not just San Francisco, but the Bay Area in general, but highlighted and became a problem because of San Francisco. Um, you know, income inequality is a huge thing. So things have started to ramp up and it's starting to become something that someone is getting housed on a once to twice a week basis. Privacy is a big thing. I think, you know, like when you're homeless, you're nothing's private. I couldn't wait to be, uh, to be housed and, you know, have my own room, use my own bathroom. And I finally got like a, a home, man. Like, it, it's, it's something that I haven't been able to say, like, I, oh, okay, I'm going home right now. I haven't been able to say that in years. Well, to you, what is problem solving and how does that fit into the Rising Up initiative? So problem solving includes like deposit, right. furniture, it's kind of like stability. That's how I look at problem solving, is, is helping with stability. So if a young person gets their car towed, right, but they need that, that car to get to and from work, problem solving can help get that out of tow. If they have secured housing, but then don't have the deposit, then they can't get the housing. So it's making sure that they get that. And then the quality of life side is, yeah, food, if they need food, furniture, whether it's like just moving stuff, like cleaning supplies, whatever that they may need. Uh, keeping them out of our homeless response system. Yeah, exactly. That's the yeah. key, right? We want to yeah. keep them out of That's our- the, the problem that it's solving. Right, we want to keep them out of the homeless response system. Yeah. I would say anything for our youth when it comes to problem solving is we focus on them individually. It's always client-centered. And that's one of the great things that, that has been instilled in all of us. Problem solving, is it, that's life. 
it's challenges. Seeing what resources we can get you connected to, to to make sure you're connected to like a food pantry instead of saying, well, if you if you go, maybe you can get a 20 piece nug chicken nuggets, you know, and that'll last you for dinner and maybe lunch. Yeah. Let's go see what we can get you that'll be long term. Let's get you connected to the resources that'll support you long term, you know, and, and, and have you know where that is. Kind of map out the community for you.